Last year was a particularly bad year for direct hurricane hits here in the southeastern U.S. Here in central Alabama, we are not immune to the effects of hurricanes. In fact, there are two very notable hurricanes we had to deal with during the last 25 years. October 4th, 1995, powerful Category 3 Hurricane Opal slammed into the Gulf Coast with 115 mile an hour winds at Destin, barreling northward into Alabama. Still a full fledged hurricane over Montgomery with 90 mile an hour wind gusts, downing thousands of large trees. Power was out in some areas for weeks. This is the Caribbean Sea. I'm in Jamaica. This is the birthplace to a lot of tropical depressions and tropical storms that become hurricanes that we track every year. They've had a really bad hurricane history here in Jamaica, especially back in the 50s and 60s. But their last big deal hurricane here it was a hurricane that we know of very well, Hurricane Ivan back in 2004. After Jamaica, Cat 5 Ivan went over Cuba and through the Gulf, reaching Gulf Shores, Alabama with 130 mile an hour winds, almost a category four, then across the state, causing flooding and devastating damage far inland through central Alabama, damage estimated at $38 billion. And just six months ago, history was made along the Northwest Florida Panhandle when historic monster Hurricane Michael slammed into the Panama City area, causing catastrophic damage for miles inland. Just a few weeks ago, Michael was upgraded to rare Category 5 status. New research indicating that Michael had sustained winds of 160 miles per hour at landfall, only the fourth Category 5 hurricane ever to cross the United States coastline. So, what will this hurricane season be like? Well, we don't know, but it doesn't matter whether it's supposed to be a quiet season or a busy season on these seasonal forecasts because it only takes one hurricane affecting you to make it a big deal season. This is Blue Water Chief Meteorologist Rich Thomas for the Alabama News Network.